Hello, Cliff here, I'm in my shed again. I had a bit of an up and down week in the shed this week. Um, I buggered up a thread on saying, just uh, for no reason. It just jumped out the chuck and shattered the, f just ruined the thread so I had to start that again. And I was doing some anodizing and I went to warm my dye up a little bit. And when I took it out of there, the saucepan that I do use like a double burner, the bottom just fell off the jar. Dye everywhere. Bloody nightmare. And not only that, all my dye went. It was all I had, it was the last of it. So, and it's quite expensive. So, that was a bit of a nightmare. But anyway, I've got everything done, I should get done. Sold a few bits on eBay and on the website, so not too bad a week. So, I've got a little bit of spare time now. So, I've been cleaning my workshop up, we're mainly around the lathe area. Um, I was doing some brass, I was, and it's it, um, it turns almost like cast iron, you end up with almost like brass dust everywhere. So I'll give the lathe a very good clean up because it was in the ways, it, was, it gets everywhere. And if you don't deal with it, it just ends up mixing with the oil, ends up like a grinding paste and eventually buggers everything up. So I'll have to strip the lathe down and give it a good clean. So while I've got it stripped down, I'm going to um, try and make a little digital readout for the uh, left to right longitudinal travel on my lathe. I've um, I've used one of these before now. This one, the battery's gone in this one now. Just with a magnet on the end and a couple of magnets on the back, just sat on the ways and just magnetised up to the uh, carriage and they're all right, they work all right for a bit but particularly if you jerk it a little bit it'll move, it'll move it so I'm going to make a bracket to mount one of these, if I can find it, one of these I bought a couple of these off Banggood, there was only a couple of quid each they were, they were on a special offer, they're only carbon or plastic, they're not carbon, they're plastic but um, they work all right, and they read the, the they read out all right. Uh, obviously, the jaws are plastic; they they're crap for measuring, all right for rough measurements. But but the um, yeah, it's all gubbins on them works all right. So my plan is to mount one on a bracket on the lathe bed and onto the uh, carriage. Let me zoom in a bit, and I'll show you what I mean. So this is what I'm talking about, I want to um, make some sort of bracket to fit over the way on the front, way on the bed and just probably end up gluing the, uh, this bit of the, this bit of the uh, vernier on it, I'll cut these bits off because I only want the readout and the, the actual slider. I was going to make a, a little T, a little slotted bracket and drill and tap the carriage somewhere and screw that on and then just have a little thumb screw to hold that in but what I think I'll do is just drill and tap the carriage and just put a little clamp on here just a little because I'll probably cut this, these bits off anyway and just clamp it on because I'd like it a bit further out from the carriage somewhere out there so I can read it and then make a bracket I've got some crappy bits of aluminium here, this I was using there's an anode in my anodizing so it's pitted and buggered so I need to face it and clean it up but it will do for this so basically I want to get that somewhere like that mount this on it, I'm going to I'm going to cut this up a bit, clean it up, and then mill it when I've cleaned it up, whatever the distance is here, so that this the slider bit fits tightly onto the carriage. So uh, I'll get on with that bit. I'll cut this up first and see where I go with that. Alright, so I've just ripped a bit off of that. 
No, I mean, it's got holes in it, but that don't really matter. They're not going to get in my way. It's, um, I'm not making this for NASA. It's not going on the space shuttle. But I'm going to take this over to the bandsaw and just clean it up, face it up. Then pop it back to see what I've got to take off it, what I've got to mill out of it to make it fit the way I want. There you go, just a skim all round just to clean it up a bit. Alright, let's get back over to the lathe and see where I'm going to go with it. Glad I didn't tidy this lot up before I started. Stay to it. So I'm going to mill this out a little bit just to fit over this way on the front of the bed. And basically I want that on there. So I want to mill out the gap Where's my pointer? I want to try and measure this gap here and just mill that out of that. Just the uh, width of the way on the bed. And then I'll put another little bit of uh, alley on the front here, just screw it in from the top. And then decide where I'm going to put this. So the first thing I do is just try and measure this. You don't have to be spot bollock accurate, but I can't see. Yeah, it's about about four and a half mil. Right. So I'll mark this up the width of the bed and go and mill that out. Right, well I've marked it up with the width of the bed there. I'm just going to go and mill four and a half mil out of that. Um, and then come back and see if it fits. Now I'm going to put a little block on somewhere on here just to... So when it's on there I can have a thumb screw or something up the front here just to nip it up to the bed. Right. I'll go and mill that out. So what I was going to do, I was just going to put another little 10 mil or so square <coughs> onto it and drill it and thread it and have a little thumb screw sort of coming through from the front here to just nip it up to the bed. But I'm wondering if I could just put a little cam lock on the back here. Just turn a little brass round, sort of drill it off centre. Just have a little thumb screw on there. And just nip it, it's only got to be nipped up on here. So I think I'll give that a go, see if it works. I'm going to have to put my lathe together for that. Yeah, so just as a, another thing, I always have a lot of trouble getting my chat on and off of here. Anyone who's got an ML7 will probably know. You've got no way of locking the spindle, so getting a chuck on and off is a pain. Now, Steve Jordan, in one of his videos, said he, he made some thick paper washers to go over the spindle before he put the chuck on. <coughs> Apparently that makes it easier to get the chuck off. I ain't got any thick paper, but I've made a little plastic one. So I'm going to give that a try. won't know until I come to get the chuck off, whether it works or not, but... Um, so I'm just going to put that on. I'll just clean my chucks on. Oh, this is clean. <laughs> and I'll let you know next time I take the chuck off whether it makes any difference or not. So 
So I made this little brass disc. Just drilled and tapped it five with an M5 uh, tap just a little bit off centre so that it can roll around there. I'll just put this screw through it for now. And this was just a bit of steel I had laying about so I threaded that with 5mm so that it can turn. And works really well. That's it. And that's pretty much it really, it's pretty much finished. Just want to, um, while I had my laving bits, I drilled and tapped this little hole with an M6 thread here. I'm just going to make a little clamp for that with a screw in it. And then cut bits off of this. I'll make this clamp, clamp that on, and then I'll glue this onto here when it's actually in position. And that's almost the job done. So I'll just make go and make this little clamp now, stick on there. So here we go. That's the little clamp on there. I'll just it's just a little bit of aluminium with a bit milled out to come down onto that. Bolted on there. Still need to cut all these bits off and glue this on, but I think I'll trim this this edge. I'll just take this bit on and mark this and take that bit away. I don't need that sticking out there. But that's him. Zero it. And that's how it's going to work. Well, happy. I think that's going to be good. Change it a thousandths or inches. Alright, so I'm just going to mark this up now, chop that bit off, tidy all this up. I'll probably put a bit of. Uh, grip on that right let's uh, mark that up and chop it off I love this bandsaw cost you a fortune in gas though because you have to put the fire on when you're not sweating your bollocks off sawing things up. So here he is, all finished. So zero, I've just stuck this on with a bit of double sided tape for the time being just to make sure it's all right before I glue it or anything. And there you go. Zero it. Put it on millimetres. Move forward, backwards, lovely. And then just got to loosen that clamp, and that's it. Is that the way? I'll just put a knurl on the nut and blacked it just to stop it rusting. I'm really happy with it. A piece of piss to put on and off. him back on well thanks for watching what's next I need to do something about covering this motor up here because all sorts of crap is getting in there I need to make some sort of cover for it that'll be the next one cheers again thanks for watching see you soon